Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, the one back with more Damaki Battle Chronicle content. And in this video, we're going to be updating our global tier list. Let's get it. Welcome to the pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. It's been about a month since our last uh, tier list. Um, this is pretty much the order in which um, the game was. So this this tier list this that we're, look, that we're looking at right now was based off of the first month. So yeah, since then we've had about one, two, three, and also there is the swimsuit Lafia that just dropped. I made a should you summon for her earlier. Er, I think it was yesterday actually. At the time of this recording, um, right now this tier list hasn't been updated, so. I'll just use one of these other characters as a fill-in for where I think I place her. Okay, so before we look at the new units though, the first unit that we're going to change or bump down or up or movements or whatever is I feel, um, what's his name? Gareth. That's it. That's it. That's it. So Gareth, Gareth is the unit that we're going to be bumping down to um, A rank. And the reason why we're going to be bumping down Gareth to A rank is I feel, I just feel like honestly that with Ice in the game, she heavily, 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 heavily destroys Gareth. Like Gareth is like just useless when, when he comes up against Ice. Uh, and I come and I see a lot of units, um, a lot of units sorry a lot of people are using eyes in their teams in pvp magic zone gathering um and all the competitive modes so like using gareth like it, it's just not as effective as using a tiona uh, an electric tiona in my opinion um so that's why we're bumping him down right now um and next uh next unit that we're going to be looking at is um i'm pretty happy with this to be honest with you um the only thing that i think that i might change i'm thinking about changing is is bumping down fire bell to a rank in my opinion uh, i feel like he's just not as in amazing obviously he counters eyes you know i'll keep bell here i'll keep bell here i'll keep him there because he does counter eyes which is burn damage so i'll keep him up there um anything else i want to make a change um, the fee is good range. Um, you know what? I'll keep. I think I'll keep everything the way it is right here. So, with regarding the new units, first we're gonna look at Simsu Lily. Now, I also did a should you summon up for her, and she does not look good. So she is a water speed unit, and what her technique one, I believe, just does light damage. Her technique two, um does like a three hit combo and then her special move just reduces vitality and that's literally it that is literally her kit man like it's so so ass man it's just so ass like i'm i'm gonna put her it's so ass i'm not even gonna put her in a like it's literally b rank like it's that bad in my opinion like it's just debuffs, but like I, in, in competitive modes, you're not going to use her. The only thing that she could potentially be useful for is Magic Stone Gathering. But in story, she's not going to be as good as these guys. In PvP, she's not going to be as good as, as good as these guys. So it's literally only Magic Stone Gathering. And even at that, she's not going to be doing anything game-breaking or game-changing. Um, it's literally just the wide range attacks that kind of makes her kind of kind of viable in magic stone gathering but outside of that she's pretty ass um i would that's why i skipped her um okay so next we're gonna look at uh the next unit here let me just pull up her um what is it her kit right here in the game two seconds guys uh, where is she? Do, 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 do. So the next unit we're going to be looking at is um, let's look at uh, he, uh, Haruhime. Simsu Haruhime is next. Uh, here she is. So 
what she does is she is a water dps attacker adventure so pretty much what she does is her technique two is called mallet drop and it inflicts a two hit medium inflicts two hit medium damage on enemies and her technique one is called flying mallet and it, in, it inflicts small damage in a front facing round aoe and increases own intelligence status after attacking okay and then her special move celeb celebratory uh fireworks inflicts a burning effect on the damaged enemy after dealing a three hit very heavy damage okay so she deals repetitive attacks with a special move and applies a burn effect uh, a water attribute attacker that deals continuous damage hmm okay okay this is that this is very interesting this is very interesting okay so i'm gonna have to compare her so she does continuous damage kind of burn damage um hmm what will i put her where will i put her hmm honestly <clears throat> honestly i'm thinking about putting her in because that continuous damage is very 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 good in this game and she's able to increase her in her own intelligence as well you know what i th i'm thinking of putting her in a tier to be honest with you um i'm, put I'm thinking about putting her in a tier and um what's her face i'm thinking thinking of bumping down um aisha that's it that's it aisha so with aisha right she does big damage but she she's not she doesn't have good um movement she's very bad movement uh, and she's very very slow uh, especially in uh, magic stone gathering story she's she, she she has bad movement slow attacks um that's why I'm thinking of bumping her down to B, because um, especially the harder modes, you're not gonna want to use her. She does big damage, but I feel like the lack of mo mobility that she does bring. Hmm, this is a tricky one to be honest with you, because I feel like there is there are too many units up here. Hmm, I feel like. If there's a unit here, I'm gonna bring down. It'll probably be. Hmm. You know what? I'll keep her there. I'll keep her there. I won't change it. I won't change it. Okay. Um. So yeah, we're gonna put Haruhime in A in A tier. Like I said, for the reasons, continuous damage is insane in this game, especially in the harder modes, the X stages. Being able to do uh, continuous damage and get all those ticks off is really really nice. Uh, and it's very it's also very um it makes uh those harder stages very very more um easily able to if i can speak it makes those stages very easily it makes it more easy to clear that's that's the, that's it. I, I ended up getting it in the end it makes stages more easy to clear being able to take away at the enemy's health um so yeah just do dodge in get off your burns and then bob out again so i'm gonna put her in a I'm, I'm i'm still thinking about ryu or an aisha whether i want to bump one of those down like ryu she doesn't really deal as much damage um that's the thing with ryu i don't think that she but she does as much damage as her uh, eyes but i do think she's better than these dudes here so that's why i'm not gonna bump i'm not, not gonna mess with any of these units in a or bring them down because like these guys in b are just so bad that or I might even, I could even bump these SSRs down to here and then bring these guys down here or do that. But you know what? Like, you, URs are vi more viable than SSRs. So that's why I'm going to keep it like this in this style. Um, so, anyways, next we're going to look at Swimsuit Eyes. Uh, so let me pull up her kit as well so we can get an idea of what she can do okay so uh, what she where is it where is it here it is oops simsu eyes um so the like honestly haruhime does is looking like being the best 
swimsuit unit. That's what it's looking like. Okay, so eyes, swimsuit. So let's talk about it. So her technique 2 is called Water Edge. Inflicts medium damage to the enemy and inflicts her own normal attack damage. Okay, then technique 1 deals a small damage to enemies. Okay, then her special move, Midsummer Stream, creates a wave with a float dealing massive damage and all three hits the enemies. Uh, and it says here an attack uh, by the way I forgot to say I don't think I mentioned it. she's a electric uh, attacking DPS and and she does o o overwhelming firepower with it on um, she does overwhelming firepower with her special moves multi-stage attack um so yeah hmm so she does nice um, AOE attacks that's pretty much it that I'm, I'm, I'm getting on right here um, so so with the AOE attack she's gonna be nice for um, she's gonna be nice for story I suppose uh, she's gonna be good in magic stone gathering in PvP uh, not so much not so much to be fair um, so where will I put her Okay, so she's not gonna be in S because that'd just be stupid. Should I put her in B? Like, I mean, there's nothing that makes her stand out like these other guys. She's not gonna be doing insane like damage as an Aisha phrase, for instance. She's not gonna be doing damage over time, which is very good in this game, like a swimsuit Haruhime. Um, all she's gonna be doing is AOE attacks. You know. So that's what I'm thinking of putting her in. That's what I'm thinking of putting her in B tier, to be honest with you. Um, I don't. F I don't feel like she's gonna be doing anything game in game breaking, or or as uh, as comparable to these guys in A tier, to be honest with you. Um, only one. I might. You know what? I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at what's her face, Ryu, because I do have her, and I'm gonna look at her skills right here. Because I, I'm not, because my thing is right, I don't think, okay, let me see, let me look at it, let me look at the skills right here, uh, arrow, cooldown, self-support technique, okay, 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 I forgot, she's able to buff herself, okay, okay, because that's been a while since I looked at these dudes, uh, skills and stuff, okay, so, I'll keep her there, um, so yeah, I'm gonna put her in B tier, to be honest with you. She's not as good as these guys, and she doesn't. She doesn't. She, she, there's no gimmick to her, you know. Besides the AOE attack, I, f I f I'm really disappointed with these swimsuit units. To be honest with you, like there's no one as of yet that does anything insane that we haven't seen before. Like even with even with this swimsuit Haruhime, right? The only difference to the healer to the um to the uh, green healer Haruhime is that obviously the swimsuit one's an attacker. And this one is a healer but like even the healer can do burns with the I think it's technique too so with this swimsuit it's kind of like a rip off of the healer version or they just like okay we'll just go with full just we'll just go with a burn gimmick um, but yeah she's definitely uh, the best swimsuit unit we have we've had so far uh, even better than the Lafia um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Lefia, the other Lefia that we got is a, I'm pretty sure she's a, she's an electric type and she is a DPS, let me just double check so I don't mess that up, oh yeah, she is a, no never mind, she's not, a, she's not a DPS, she's a healer, yeah, now I remember, cause I, I recorded a should you summon on her, uh, yesterday, but well, my memory's, my memory's blank, uh, but I'll just go over her skills again, she's a, so she's an electric, electric, uh, healer, uh, and her technique two is fairy step heals all units and increase their vitality so that's he just increase their health uh, technique one fairy flare deals damage in front facing round AOE decrease enemies health status okay and then special move flower of sunlight deals a large amount of damage in front facing AOE and pulls enemies together now this like for a healer it's whatever I guess I was not sold on on this banner and I think I, I got pissed off and was like it's, it's a terrible unit unit let's just imagine this bell right here is the swimsuit Lafia 
Um, actually, no. Let's pretend this unit right here is swimsuit Lufia. Um, like I would be putting swimsuit Lufia in. Honestly, I'd be putting swimsuit Lufia in B tier as well. Let's just imagine this unit right here, swimsuit Lufia. She's gonna be here in B tier as well. Like, she's not on the levels of, you know, a Haruhime, a Cassandra. You know, like she doesn't. She, the, the, the reducing vitality status isn't gonna be like all she does is reduce vitality status and she's able to pull enemies together. Like, besides that, it's she's pretty ass. You know, uh, that's why I wouldn't recommend summoning for her, and I'd be putting her in B tier as well. So yeah. So in conclusion, what's pretty much changed from the last tier list and this one is we have bumped down Gareth to A tier with the rampant eyes in pvp and magic stone Gam uh, Gam gamble it has bumped down gareth to a so it's not as as effective um and with the swimsuit units uh the only majority of them are b tier you know just average not not completely dog shit like better than ssr units obviously but not anything am amazing but not dog shit either just just the you know the bare minimum that you'd expect of a ur unit is pretty much what those three swimsuits uh, units are with swimsuit lafias uh swimsuit lily and swimsuit eyes very disappointing units but however swimsuit haruhime is by far the best uh swimsuit unit in my opinion with the continuous damage with the burns that makes her viable in raids bosses you know hard stages ex stages yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and by the way, also before I forget, the healer Lafia might be good for event ranking, maybe. Uh, considering by the fact she can pull units together, but still, that that is kind of grasping at straws, you know. And the way I rank, I do these tier lists is I look at, you know, um, how they, they how they increase, you know, or how they help with you clearing story stages and the harder story stages and very hard, and how they how they do in in pvp and in magic stone gathering um that's pretty much how we judge these tier lists um and those three swimsuit units they're, they're they're very ass so that's why they're there and haruhime the best swimsuit unit um so yeah so this just speaks volumes about the the summer banners we've been getting they've just been ass um so i feel obviously if you like a unit summon for the unit but if you're talking about meta meta wise this just shows that ma majority of these summer units are literally just you know um just regular average one of the mill units they just have a cool skin like outside of the, the cool skin and the the skins of the special move the special move animations these swimsuit units are very ass as you can see um and eyes is still the best unit in the game in my opinion no one out dps is her as of now um and um yeah that's that's pretty much the tier list let me know what you guys think down below do you agree disagree uh you know would you bump down aisha or gay or uh sorry ryu would you bump them down or even tiona would you bump them down to b tier let me know what you guys think uh, this is pretty much the tier list, um, updated tier list as of October 3rd, I believe, uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, join us in the Discord, Lions Pride, and peace. This is Eskinor, the Lion Sin of Pride from Seven Deadly Sins. Thank you for watching The Pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. The One.